So the story of the knife block is that uh, my husband and I were in a store and we saw a magnetic knife block, very nice, legit knife block, um, but it cost five, four, four hundred dollars. Uh, it was some exotic wood and it was German and you know, it was beautiful, um, but uh, I can't, I can't pay that kind of money for a knife block. So I said to my husband, all right, I'll make you one. I never made a knife block before, but let's, uh, let's see what I can do. So that's how this came about. We're playing with magnets, powerful neodymium magnets, and uh, we're making a knife block. Now, the other day I was at a store and I saw these beautiful knife blocks, but they were like three and four hundred dollars. Um, now, in a previous video, you saw me stabilize this wood, um, or wood like it. This is a weeping cherry tree that had been rotted and burled, and it's all uh, pretty chewed up wood, but we stabilized it, so now it's hard as a rock. And um, I'm gonna put these magnets and bury them into the wood, and then build a knife block. And then your knife will stick to the wood, because of the magnets. And fifth theory. Our parts are done. Uh, there's a finish on here, a very light finish, but you can see it, it came out really nice looking. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. So this is our knife block. All right, we got our base right here, but we need to put magnets into here. Now there's no turning back once I put the magnets in there. I really don't have a very good way of getting the magnets out if they don't fit, which is why I made this measuring, uh, calibrated measuring. This is within maybe a thousandth of an inch of the size of the magnet. So hopefully we don't have a problem because this goes right in. So, although at the very end, it's kind of a tight fit. It grabs on a little bit. It makes me a little nervous because these magnets aren't cheap. Uh, this is like $100 in magnets. Yikes. So if I screw this up, that's, that's a, well, this is a $25 magnet right here. Um, I'm just a little nervous that something could go wrong and I'll screw the project I'll have a magnet stuck in there that I can't get out. All right, so let, let's just compare sizing. 
it looks good, it looks right, so let's just go for it. And hopefully we don't have a problem. Right? <laughs> Alright, it went in. I, I also put some blocks in between the magnets, because I have four magnets, so I'm, I'm going to um, uh, put the blocks in there, and that'll keep everything nice and separated. Now, I, I, I like I said, have four magnets, and so that means I still have to insert three more magnets. And, uh, yeah, all right. So these are really powerful, by the way, like super. I once pinched myself between these, and it turned my skin black and blue. That's how bad it was. So, yeah, these are no joke, because they are so strong. Whew, that had some kick. Whoa, crazy. This is nutty in there. So now we'll put our spacer in. Oh man, this is so freaky. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna like move wrong and they'll just like come out and attack me. Yeah, like have you ever seen videos with magnets where they're like, don't do this at home because it's like super dangerous? That's this. Ta-da, all right. Let's see. Yes. Yeah, all right. That's what I'm talking about, just like that. All right, our magnets are in. So now we can assemble, and that's gonna look like this. That goes in there, that goes in there. All right. That's it. This actually has some heft to it. So let's just take a close look at how that came together. And uh, it looks really good. It looks really, really good and it feels good. I'm happy, I'm happy. Time for our moment of truth. This is the money shot. It is fully assembled. It looks great, it's got a ton of heft to it. It's really heavy because this is that um, resin soaked weeping cherry wood that we had that was rotted and burled and uh, yeah, so that's why it has that really distinguished look to it. The magnets are inside, but does it work? Let's find out. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, that is that is beautiful. I love it. It is perfect and I mean it wasn't it wasn't cheap, okay? So uh, let's be honest. Uh, resin soaked cherry wood is not, it's not a cheap venture. The magnets were a hundred bucks, but I mean it's mine. I made this, I created it from the beginning. This is actually some very special wood at the bottom here. This is apple wood that uh, my friend John, who passed away a few years ago, left to me. Um, it, it, he actually cut down an apple tree, and uh, so I milled the wood, and this is my friend John's uh, apple tree, basically. Uh, and then, of course, this is the weeping cherry on top. So this has sentimental value for me. It's functional, it'll be in my kitchen, um, doing its job day in, day out. All right, I'm Fritz the Jovial. This was how to make your own magnetic knife block. Uh, if you like this episode, uh, click like down below, comment down below if you have any input or like, Maybe somebody has some input on better magnets that you could use, cheaper magnets. I don't know. Comment down below. Um, yeah, and hit subscribe because I do little projects like this all the time and videos and stuff. And I try to have fun with, with you guys. And we also talk about some pretty serious stuff too if you look back on some of the other episodes that have come out recently. Um, so, yeah, I mean... Thanks for joining me, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.